I'm Lucy Edwards, Director of Strategic Engagement at Metaport and VHT Studios. And today we are at Leading RE, Leading Real Estate Companies of the World in Las Vegas 2023. And my guest is Gary, so uh, Gary Scott, and you are the president of uh, Alan Tate Realtors. So, and you're also part of Leading Real Estate Companies of the World, obviously. Yes, yeah, so uh, Alan Tate Realtors is located in the Carolinas. Our headquarters is Charlotte. Uh, we have 70 offices in North and South Carolina and about 2,100 agents. Uh, most recently, we came together with one of the great leading RE brokers, Beverly Hanks, uh, from the Asheville Mountain region and expanded our footprint into the Western North Carolina mountains, which was very exciting for us. Well, I bet. And uh, it's a lot of realtors to uh, take care of and make them happy. Well, so I think we can make them happy if we give them the tools and the resources to be successful, particularly in in a market that we like to say is shifting or returning back to normal. And you know, one of the things that we find so valuable is our relationship with LRE or leading real estate companies of the world. You know, the Alan Tate company, Alan Tate and Pat Riley, Pat is the president and CEO. They were founding members of leading real estate companies of the world, you know, passionate and committed to the independent real estate broker, not only across the country, but across the world. And so uh, we really love to take advantage of all of the different things for our agents, to our managers, uh, to obviously broker to broker referrals, you know, the, the deep uh, and breadth and plethora of things that Leading RE brings to the Allen Tate Company. And again, the beauty of being in North and South Carolina is there are a lot of people want to move into the Carolinas. And so we become the recipient of a lot of referrals from this great network. Yes, excellent. And uh, I, I, absolutely, everyone is moving to Carolinas. That is one of the most popular destinations. And it's great to have referral because your agents are able to work with everyone, not just within the United States, but uh, but worldwide. Yeah. So, you know, obviously the opportunity for our sales professionals to expand their network uh, beyond those people that live near them. And one of the things we try to coach our people is whether I went to college with them or high school with them or I worked them in a different industry, I can help that person in Wilmington, Delaware. I can help that person in Boston, Massachusetts. I can help that person in Southern California. And we like to remind our folks, and one of the things uh, we are, you know, we love these large uh, commission checks that come through the referral network because we've, uh, we've become the trusted advisor uh, for that sphere of influence, even though they're not in our backyard. And it's one of the great benefits and and uh, our sales professionals love the opportunity to receive referrals, but also to send them. And when they send them, the thing that is most important is they're confident in the quality of service that they receive from the other end, because Leading RE is a, is a membership of qualification and quality. You know, you don't just become a member because you're an affiliation, uh, say with a franchise, but you have to earn the right to be part of our network. Therefore, the confidence level that is, uh, is accepted and gained by our sales agent when they send a referral to another part of the country is just magnificent. Yeah, consistency. I strongly believe in consistency. Uh, you know, part of being BHT Studios and Metaport, we offer marketing strategy to realtors. And that's what I preach every time I go to the office and I meet with realtors. Consistency is important. You have to be professional. You have to present yourself properly. And uh, marketing is a part of being the consistent marketing advisor, if you wish. So I love the word consistency. We had our top agents at an event two weeks ago, happens to be in Asheville, uh, and Jared James, who many of uh, the, the viewers have seen of or heard Jared James, uh, coined a phrase that's called consistency is undefeated. And it really speaks to your point that, you know, when we are consistent in what we do, whether it be marketing or connectivity with our sphere of influence, and you and I spoke a little bit earlier about the importance of, uh, of getting uh, people back together and, and really focused, laser focused on relationships, uh, which ultimately has always driven our business. Unfortunately, during COVID, it became transactional. And the, the industry, our business became transactional because the market required it to become transactional. So we're trying to reel everybody back in. And uh, a guest speaker this morning just said it is a contact sport. And it's about getting across belly to belly, face to face with your sphere of influence and educate them because today our greatest foe in the marketplace is the media who is not out there trying to sell some of the good news that has come our way recently with existing home sales, most recently being up 14.3%. So we remain optimistic and bullish on the real estate market, albeit different than, than the last couple of years. And uh, today at one of the sessions, uh, someone had a really great phrase. We as realtors are not in selling homes, we are selling visions and dreams. 
And I think to understand that, you also have to be mingling with other people to understand those dreams and those visions. You mentioned back to the basics. I appreciate that. I think we should be back to the basics because uh, being a realtor, being a real estate agent, it's uh, really uh, relations. It's, it's your relationship with your community. You are the liaison between the buyer and the community, between the seller and the buyer. Do you agree with me? I, I totally agree. And you know, it all comes down to trust. And I think one of the most important things is to build a trusting, long-term, sustainable relationship with that sphere of influence. And, you know, trust comes when we communicate. And one of the most important things in communication is asking a lot of questions. You know, because when we're dealing with relationships, you know, when we're talking to someone across the table, that person wants to share with us all the things about their lives, right? And the more questions we ask, uh, one of our great uh, partners at Leading RE, Mike Staver, always says, when you think you've asked enough questions, you've got to ask four more. And, and just so just when you think you've done it, if you ask for more, you're really going to unpack the motivation of the buyer and the motivation of the seller. And it's all about caring, you know, and uh, I've got this mantra, this three step mantra. It's about care deeply about every one of our, our prospects and our sphere of influence. Number two is uh, listen intently. You know, be a great listener. We talk about communication all the time. But it's really listening that is the key to communication. It's not really me talking. It's about me listening to the thing, the great things that you were saying. And then last and certainly not least, it's respond quickly. And so this is a kind of a three-legged stool that I've embraced and our companies embrace. Care deeply, listen intently, and respond quickly. And that's going to deliver that incredible customer service that's going to bring those people back again and again and again. And most importantly, they're going to continue to refer their family and friends. And therefore, we're back to what we talked about earlier, which is that relationship piece of our business, which is more critical in 2023 than I think it's been in a long time. What would you like to wish to not just bring new agents, but also to, uh, I don't like the word seasoned because it just doesn't sound good, but experienced. Um, what would you like to wish to agents in 2023 and what they should be looking forward to? Yeah, so I'm going to sound a little bit like a broken record. Uh, you know, I think it's about the basics. I think it's about uh, the basic fundamentals. I'm, I'm a football coach at heart and it's about blocking and tackling. You know, it's about doing the things that we've done for years and years and years. I, I share this story. I got in the real estate business in 1986. And what worked for me in 1986, 1987, 1988, 1999 still works today. It's about a high level of connectivity. It's about building that trust we talked about. It's a consistency in everything we do. It's about staying connected with things of value to people. And so let's go back to the basics. Let's wind it back in. Let's stay laser focused on relationships, customer service, and caring deeply about what's important to those to the buyers and sellers and then give them a level of customer service that they're going to stand from the mountaintop and tell your story for you. Well, thank you so much. That is a great advice. Anyone, not just a realtor, anyone should be taking that advice in their business. So I really appreciate I appreciate your time. Have a great conference. Enjoy and uh, all the best to you and your agents and your company. Well, thanks for having us. We appreciate it. And Huge fans of leading RE, and we're just happy to be here this uh, this week in Las Vegas. Thank you. Thank you. Cheers, everybody.